strong line, ladies and gentlemen, it's Madison time. It's basically a satire on two of the most dreaded genres, the teen flick and the message movie. And it's a dance musical also. There's like 25 dance gimmick numbers in it, all that were real dances. The whole movie takes place in 1962. Mama, welcome to the 60s. Spoofing beehive hairdos of the 60s, Hairspray centers around the Corny Collins Show, a top-rated teen dance program, and the kids who become instant celebrities through the daily TV exposure. Amber Von Tussel, played by Colleen Fitzpatrick, is the show's reigning teenage princess. Hi, I'm Amber Von Tussel, a Corny Collins county member. This is my luxurious house. My parents own Tilted Acres Amusement Park. Hi, Corny. I was Baltimore. God, he's gorgeous, Penny. Mine was that high. Ricky Lake is Tracy Turnblad, and along with her best friend Penny, they're the show's biggest fans. My character is a 16-year-old high school student who uh, wants to be on the hottest dance show in 1962 called The Corny Collins Show. And eventually I get on the show. Not only do I get on the show, but I also get the beautiful boyfriend. I win the Miss Auto Show 1963 contest and I also uh, dance my butt off. <laughs> also dancing to the big beat of the 60s is a mixed bag of stars, including Pia Zadora as the beatnik, Jerry Stiller and Divine as Tracy's parents, Debbie Harry, former lead singer of Blondie, and Sonny Bono, a California restaurateur and mayoral candidate. Amber, I'd like to talk to you. Yes, Daddy? I honestly didn't know that much about John or, or his products, you know, and, and some of my waiters did, and they went, wow, you're doing John Waters' film? I said, what does that mean? They go, he's weird, man. So, so I called John, you know, I wanted to be reassured that, that it, it was the kind of film it was, was. I said, look, John, I'm running for mayor. I got to be careful here. He goes, look, it's a PG. He says, it's a PG. One more spank for life. No, wait a minute. She has, daddy, I didn't make a hair girl. Not only is the PG rating a departure for director John Waters, but Hairspray is the first picture he's done with a budget bigger than a breadbasket. Now, I know that polyester had a budget of just $300,000. Did a, a bigger budget for hairspray make a difference? Its budget was... In, yeah, this was, was over two. So I just bum money better. I learned how to do it better. There must and, be you know, a this, system there, right? <laughs> this, um, the subject matter, I realized, was one of my obsessions, one of the few that was palatable to movie executives. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote the movie around the music. These are my favorite records. So the dances, basically, I knew how to do most of them. After two martinis in the privacy of my own home, sometime I did them at three in the morning. Though the music is rhythm and blues, the Corny Collins Show is an all-white program. But like the rest of America in 1962, the stirrings of racial integration are a part of the script in Hairspray. I grew up watching the Buddy Dean Show here, the Milk Grant Show, American Bandstand. There were those shows everywhere. So I, I exaggerated all that heavily. And, but all the stuff was true about what integration was like here in 1962. I don't think that's even exaggerated that much. I mean, Ruth Brown said she remembers singing at dances where there'd be a rope down the middle with blacks on one side and whites on the other. And uh, so, yeah, it's not that much of an exaggeration. Hairspray may be a departure for Baltimore's best-known director in many ways, but the underlying message is true water style. It's about people who don't fit in, social outcasts who take their disadvantages and turn them around. It's a film about the Tracy Turnblads of the world and how they triumph and eventually become heroes.